see, so you have to keep it clean so it won't get wet. Because all the hamsters that I've ever had, and I've had lots of hamsters. I think you had six. <laughs> How many? I've <laughs> quite a few. But <clears throat> some of them did get wet tail. But once they get it, you can't stop it. So you've got to make sure you keep it clean and fed. And we got to get fed even for it. It's a full time job, just like having a baby. I don't worry about that part. What I worry about is you and Noah fighting over it. It's going to be your hands for it. You can share. And you've got to keep it out of her hands. <laughs> No, no one say I'm going. Uh -uh. Come on, can I take some? Nobody, it's just me okay. and you. So she might want to train you how to take care of it. Okay? Yeah, yeah. We're going to bring it back here. And then they can see it. When we get back here, they can all see it. But you know, if they get scared, I don't know if Christy remembers this, but when she was in kindergarten, her and Jeffrey, I had hamsters in my classroom, and I was out on duty, and they were they let it out the cage and were chasing it, and they accidentally stepped on it and killed it. <gasps> yeah. And it was bleeding all over the room. So, the way you all fight over stuff, that can happen to your hamster. So how are you going to prevent that from happening? Oh, it went in the room. Keep it up to your floor. It will crawl under your bed. Yeah, but if you and Noah are fighting over it, what's going to happen? <laughs> and plus you'll scare it. So are you willing to share? Let them hold it every once in a while? And they may already have it tamed since they've already had it. It's not like getting it in a pet store. I don't know how long they've had it or anything. Ooh, one time I had a, um, the storm pop and I held it on a hamster and uh, it never bite me once.